So on Friday, I was having a very, very deep conversation with a client of mine who's gone from size 20 to a size 16. Now, we've still got a lot of work to do, and it should have happened a lot sooner. However, other things have taken priority. We've had to work a lot on her mental health and things that are going on in her life. I think this is a massive thing that people underestimate when it comes to fat loss. Things that are going on externally in their life and things that in their subconscious are actually taking over and ruining their progress. So there's an analogy that I like to use when it comes to fat loss, which if you pay attention, it will explain everything when it comes to fat loss for you and why potentially you're failing. So imagine we're in the Jumanji jungle, like Indiana Jones style, and we've got to get to the other side, which is where you want to be, your destination. We've got a river of yo-yo dieting and misery, so you can manage all the skeletons down there and stuff. So we're going to build a bridge. So first of all, you need the planks of wood. So these planks of wood to build the bridge are things like your nutrition plan, your training program, potential supplements, rest and recovery, support network. All these things are the planks of wood that build the bridge. However, you can't just put the planks of wood in thin air. So you need the thick rope to attach all these planks of wood together. And that is your adherence. So that is you sticking to what you've been given and what will get you to the other side. However, when I stuck with planks of wood, with rope, but nothing to hold them in. Now this is the key thing that holds everything together. The big wooden pillars that hold the rope and the planks of wood together is your mentality. If you don't have your mentality right, you will always fail time and time again because your bridge will come unstuck. So you can be sticking to everything perfectly, but if your mentality is not right, if you have limiting beliefs or things that are going on in your life, for example, underlying issues with family that cause emotional triggers, if you don't address these on your fat loss journey, you will fail time and time again. So it's all about dealing with any limiting beliefs, thinking I'm not good enough, I can't do this, I'm not worthy, and also looking, do I have emotional triggers in my life that I need to sort out to make sure that they're not going to destroy me on my journey?